All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the surface area of a box, of a rectangular prism is the official term for it, a rectangular prism. And uh, so first thing you got to know in a rectangular prism is uh, how many sides does a rectangular prism have? And a, a rectangular prism has six sides. And surface area means you are trying to find the number of square units in area that is necessary to cover this entire rectangular prism or box. And uh, so one first thing you got to know is how many sides uh, does this rectangular prism have? It's six. I'm going to show you why. And then, uh, and then you're supposed to find the area of each of those six sides and find the sum. Add them up. Okay, so uh, first off with this box, we can see that it's got two red sides, and then it's got a couple of yellow sides, and then it's got a couple of blue sides. So red, yellow, and blue, uh, two sides each, so there are six sides. If you still don't believe me, we can take off the cover, and then we can stick it on, and there you go. We have six sides. We have the two reds, we have the two blues, and we have the two yellows. So now we've got this box. And uh, let's kind of, let's assume or pretend that the dimensions for this box are 3 by 8 by 10. So when I say 3 by 8 by 10, that means uh, in this case it's going to be 3 units up it's going to say, let's say, 8 units this way, and let's call it 10 units this way. So if for some reason we really wanted to show that over here, the three units would be this little box, this little line right here, and this little line right here, this little line, and this little line. That's the three. The eight would be uh, the length right here from here to here, and the 10 would be from here to here. Right? And so we've got our rectangular prism. It's a 3 by 8 by 10. And we want to find the surface area, which means we're going to find the, the area of each of the six sides and then find the sum. But we can cut our work in half a little bit by understanding that there's two reds, two blues, and two yellows. So really, if we find the area of one red, one blue, and one yellow, find the sum of that, all we have to do to find the surface area of the rectangular prism is double that answer. So we're going to find the area of three faces of this rectangular prism. So let's begin by finding the area of this top. And the area of this top is uh, going to be found by multiplying the length and the width of the top. So the area of the top. Now, the length of this top is 10, the width is 8, so it's a 10 by 8, which is 80 units squared. 80 square units of the area of the top is the area of the top. Now, if we want to find the area of the front, this piece right here, this is 3 by 10, so the, let's call that the front. Area of the front is 3 by 10, which is 30. And then over here, we've got the side, so that's going to be the 3 by 8. So let's call that the area of the side. I don't know. These are all silly made-up names that I'm making up, but uh, it's not important really mathematically speaking other than to just kind of keep us organized. And the area of the side is 3 by 8, which is 24. So we've got three sides. We know that there's six. We just need to take each one of these and double it, and then add. Or we can just add these up and then double. So 80 plus 30 is 110, plus another 24 is 134 square units, or units squared. But that's not it. That's only half the answer, because that's just three sides, and we know we have six. So we have to take this answer, multiply by 2, and we get... 268 square units is the area, uh, surface area of this rectangular prism. Now, what does that mean? That means if we were to take squares, little square units, 
and completely cover this rectangular prism, we would need 268 little squares in order to cover this rectangular prism.